yet another edition of Kids Labs with Vakta Lira Chosen. I'm so happy to see each of you today for the day Chor, the Chor of Kids Labs. Now, yesterday we built a gerbil obstacle course, and let me tell you, you guys made some amazing obstacle courses. Um, and they were quite, quite amazing. And we learned yesterday that we can talk to others about what we believe. And I, Dr. Lita Holzen, has been working on talking about what I believe. And I am starting to understand by listening to others that maybe gerbils aren't as bad as I thought. Okay? I perhaps not think gerbils are as bad, but we get to that later. Today, we have very, very incredible science experiment for all of you. Uh, we are going to be doing day four kids lab. So you will get your little basket, I mean your bag, and inside you will see an amazing bottle of food coloring. Do not take lid off or make mother very, very upset, okay? Very upset. Everyone had different colors. Mine is rose because I love this song. rose on something. Dr. Lederholzen, if science does not work out for me, I become a professional singer, okay? It's amazing. For this science experiment, we are going to be talking about soluble and insoluble liquids yet again. We did that on Tuesday. It was very much fun. Day two. We're going to be doing that again. You see, in this experiment, what will happen is we will take clear glass. It works best if you have clear glass, just like this, okay? And then you will pour water. You do not have to have bottled water. Tap water will work just fine. It's just Dr. Lederholzen has to walk very far to get tap water because we must pull it up from the well and I must carry it on top of my head. It's so far away, so I'm not doing that right now. You will fill up the cup. That's, that's maybe too much. There we go, much better. Oh, I have fish for dinner, it came up just then. I smell a hint of fish, oh, something fishy in here. Oh, that was gross. Okay, and then you will take vegetable oil. Any kind of oil would work. The olive oils, the liquid coconut oils, the avocado oils, um, the oils from someone's hair that has not been washed in very long time. Though that would be gross if you squeeze, oh. Grrr. Uh, but I'm going to use vegetable oils, and what you're going to do is just pour enough to kind of fill across the top. As you pour, you will see lots of little bubbles come through, depending on size of glass, five to six tablespoons. But you will see, as you pour, all of these bubbles will begin to form up top, and you will just give them time. You can see there, we see the separation between the oil and the water. Okay, well you see, Oil and water do not mix. Oil is not soluble inside water, meaning it does not dissolve. And so today we are going to take good advantage of that with amazing science experiment. You see, food coloring is made from a soluble liquid and it will dissipate once it hits water. But when it's in the oil, it will make little drops. And so today you're going to do fireworks in a cup. So what you will do, you will take your oil, I mean, your, once you have your oil in, you will take your food coloring and just do three or four drops. Do not do too many at first. You can keep doing this over and over. The fish taste keeps coming back. That's gross. Okay, the fish taste is back down. Do three or four drops. You will bounce, 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 uh, or seven or eight. There we go. And you will slowly watch the oil and you will see the food coloring sits inside the oil. I don't know if you can see that very well, but you will see it when you do science experiment. Here is when the science, oh, did you see it? It fell down. Now, as you do this, the oil will wrap around the food coloring and it will drop down to bottom of water. Eventually, water will do its trick and the food coloring will suddenly go and you will see it explode and into an amazing, colorful creation. One thing you can do to help this experiment is you can kind of poke, the, poke it down through and eventually, there it goes! Did you see it? I don't think you can see it probably, but it makes very cool fireworks in cup. You guys will have so much more fun doing it in person rather than watching Dr. Lederhosen. And then when you do it a few times, you can put the whole bunch and then, whoa, fireworks, did you see it? Look at the fireworks in the cup. Oh my goodness. 
Wow, this is important for today because here's the thing. All and water do not mix. Well, in the same way, God wants us to tune out distractions in our life. He does not want us to try to mix our time with him with other things. He wants us to focus on him only. And so he wants us to take time out of our day to tune out all other distractions, say, I will not pay attention to those things, and spend time with him reading his word, praying, and worshiping. And we can do that anytime, anywhere, and we can talk to him about anything. When we do this, this allows God to guide us, to teach us, and encourage us. I love to be encouraged by God because then I can encourage other people. And you see, no matter what is going on around us, we can encourage other people. Well, I have a very big announcement today. Um, as I have been praying to God about anything, anytime, anywhere, because I learned today that you can pray at any time, anywhere, about anything. I have realized something. Uh, my disdain for shooting small ping pong balls at gerbils was unwarranted. You see, yesterday, the gerbils were at the front door of the lab trying to break in. And I go to the door and I'm like, gerbils, go away. Why are you always here? And you know what gerbils say? Gerbils say, we can be friends. They said it in their own language. I speak the same language as gerbils. Because I learned that in Eastern European, Italian, German schooling for small children to learn marsupial rodent languages, you see? And he said to me, and I said, oh, really? And he goes, and I said, amazing gerbils. And I learned that gerbils and I have same love for Jesus. So now I would like to introduce all of you to my new best friend. Oh, boy, do not bite me, small friend. Here we go. Oh, hello. Everyone say hello to my new best friend, Crazy. Everyone say hi, Crazy. Hi, little buddy. Hi, Crazy. He is purring. He is saying, Fuck little Hosen. You are the most amazing person on earth. I love oh, you want? Okay, give me keys. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, uh, I love pepperoni pizza too, my little friend. Oh, okay. Oh, we're getting very close. Okay, well, we're now going to, oh my goodness, he's inside my coat. Oh my goodness, he's inside my coat. Mother, mother, we will talk to you next time on Kids Live with Dr. Lederholzen. Don't bite the hair, don't bite the hair. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>